time it is. And not a state interview, state legends. Y'all see who we have there. It's a dream. You see y'all read that? It's a whole dream that he on this channel right now. Please give them your Instagram handle so they can find you. Universal Roller. That's it. So, Universal Roller, please let them know how long have you been skating? It's crazy. When they ask me that, I give them an exact date. November 13, 1966 was the first time I put them on. I skated. It was the day before my third birthday. On my fourth birthday. I skated at least once a month up until August of 1978. Okay. And I went to my first adult session. I was 15 years old. And I haven't been off my skates longer than two weeks since the last Sunday in August 1978. Woo! Document. Hey, hey, that's documented. That, 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 that's what you call history right there. So I know on your skate journey, you have influenced a lot of people. Please let them know, like, uh, the group, even groups of people that, you know, you can influence. Because I know that you are part of the, uh, uh, the autism. Right. You know, y'all do skate with autism. So let them know about your program that you do. Okay. Autism Skates Atlanta, which came because uh, I saw a friend whose mother had nursing business and she had an autistic client and the daughter and one of the other workers that used to take him skating i saw on the ring and you know they didn't they couldn't skate too well and i was like get them to do this and they said we can't get him to do that because you know he's autistic and i love humans and i connected with him and i started showing them stuff so what they did was you want me to hold it up yeah they don't okay so what they did was they said he doesn't work well with males but me and him had an instant rapport, so they had filmed it and showed it to his parents. And about three months after that, I got a call for them saying, could I take him skating once a week because the other caregiver had uh, found another job and moved away. And I took him skating, and I was became his primary caregiver during the day for about four years. And I got to know him, I got to care about him greatly, and... It made me more aware of the challenges families of children or adults, because he was an adult, he's 30 years old, uh, with autism that they face. And that started uh, me really understanding things, but what made Autism Skates Atlanta come into being? That same young woman was going for her master's degree and she was handing in the wrong assignment for a final. So the professor gave her a task to come up with a fundraiser and handed it in 24 hours and he would grade off that. Wow. So she gave me a call, like one of them game shows where you have a, what you call that, lifeline. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, said, yeah, I need lifeline. to come up with a fundraiser. And I said, easy, we'll make it about skating and autism. Yeah. And then she said, autism skates Atlanta. And that was how it came out. Wow, wow. And, and she handed it in, got a 100, and the professor said, this is amazing. We need to bring this to life. We in yeah. 10 cities about to go international That's in three crazy. years. That's crazy. And let me tell you something. That in itself is all a blessing. Now, I see your gear that you have on. It's Fly Discreet. Shout out to Fly Discreet. Fly Discreet. Please let us know how long you've been on the Dream Team and how did that come about? Okay, well, I'm the co-founder of the Dream Team. So, since the day one, I'm a, I've been affiliated. So it formed because the owner of Cascade, Greg Alexander, stated that he wanted to, he had a vision that he wanted to form a skate team with all the best skaters on one team and that we would have two missions. First mission was to bring awareness about Cascade, which is the most well-known rink in the world. It's, it's a unquestioned. And the second thing was for us to be ambassadors for skating so that more people can come in and enjoy what we do weekly, monthly, yearly, and through decades. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. So how often do the Dream Team perform? Well, the Dream Team performs as bookings come up and opportunities. Like within the last month, we had an event where we had schools come in and the team, you know, helps them learn how to skate. And we're generally hosts when you come in the building. And then I myself and one other member of the team, we had the KIPP school system come in 
We did a career two career days for them, and we brought the entire third grade from Kip Ways here to uh, Cascade. Okay. They had an amazing time. So we give lessons before every session here. So if you want to consider overall how many times we do things, is at least five days. A week. Okay, so five days a week, y'all heard it here. You can get skating lessons at Cascade by Atlanta's own Dream Team. That's right. Can't go wrong with that. So this is the part where we roll that beautiful bean footage. Some of the Dream Team, some of, you know, what you've done, you know, with the artist, take or whatever. All right, now that we have watched that, this is a point of the interview where you give a shout out or acknowledge anyone that you want to acknowledge. Well, I want to take this time to give flowers above ground to Jody Allen. We're here for the love of skating. And people don't understand what it took for it to come into being. Jody wanted to give a party. And he mentioned that. And it was during coming out of the pandemic. The George Floyd uh, episode had occurred. And there was a lot of unrest. And he was like, man, if people came skating, the world would be a better place. And he wanted to gather people to come and enjoy what we enjoy. And he has grown by leaps and bounds. He surpassed any expectation anybody could have had. But more important than that, he's proved all the dollars wrong because nobody thought he could grow to a point where he could be the curator of an event like this. And we're only getting started. So that's number one shout out. Number two, I want to shout out Charlotte Jones. That's my lady. And the reason why I want to shout her out, they say behind every great man is a good woman kicking him in the behind, telling him to go get it done. And she's a powerhouse in her own right. But I've watched her transform in every area of life to work at being the person by my side to help me be the best version of myself. So I want to shout out. And then third, I want to shout out my business partner and somebody that I've trained, taught, mentored, coached, and become business partners with. And now he's my friend, Mashad Strozier. He's 22 years old. That's all businesses. He's my partner in two of the nonprofits we have as well. And he decided he didn't want to, college wasn't for him. And he dives into entrepreneurship and he's doing an amazing job. And it's exciting to watch him. He's been around me six years and it's exciting to watch him elevate, progress, and do things that are setting a tone for generations to come. And he's a flag bearer for black excellence in training. He's already formidable and he's on his way. Great. That's it. Black excellence at his best. Hey, we no, appreciate you coming out. No further questions. No further questions. You ask how I met you? How you met me? Yeah. You know what? That's right. You need to know. How did you meet me? Dr. Uh, Universal Roller, how did you meet Skating Life 007? Well, when I when I moved to Atlanta, I started attending sessions that I didn't attend when I I've been coming to Atlanta 30, almost 33 years. I've been living here seven. But when I moved here, I wanted to go to the sessions I didn't go to when I came to visit because I was either going to a party or sessions that kind of catered to like what I like doing. The Sunday so session. I started going to Atlanta session and I started seeing these guys skating like the Pied Pipers. Once they started, people started following them or whatever. And they had some three big dudes and one little dude. And I said, they caught my attention. And then one day, I saw this guy on the side and he was speaking to somebody and I saw care, concern, and he shared wisdom with them. And I started speaking to him and then I noticed I started seeing him everywhere. And then turns out that he was a leader of a group called Ride the Beat. Ride the Beat. <laughs> and so when we had tryouts for the original Dream Team, I personally invited them to come because we wanted them as a collective. Yeah. And, but they said if they couldn't audition alone, we're going to have to decline. But they said that after they showed up, out of respect for the invitation. 
So that's how I met him. That's how I got to know him. He's a man of integrity, consistency. Because inconsistencies in men is a sign of immaturity. And also, him and people in his camp do a lot of things in the community yep. that positively reflect on who he is and what he's about. You know what? I'm about to do an interview on that. I'm about to bring my wife on here. Let them know what time it really is. I'll interview you. And that's it. You know what? We're going to bring all here. We're going to interview uh, and let her know. I will ask probing questions look, like, look, look, how do you behind? deal with conflict resolution in your relationship? Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about parenting. And how has that changed your life and your perspective on life? Hey, what I'm tip would you give new parents? Hey. What do you know about financial intelligence? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What type of things do you do to maintain and extend the wealth known as health because health is well health is well also not so much how long you've been skating what is it that you learned most from skating that you took into your life that made a tangible difference yeah i would also ask you something like who are the people that influenced you the most who did you pattern yourself after yeah. who are your mentors trainers teachers i will also ask them why are you always wearing those sunglasses during the interview? <laughs> <laughs> and then I would look his wife in the eyes and say, who wearing a high top Adidas in a relationship? <laughs> we we going to bring her we own. We can put that in the blooper section. <laughs> we going to bring her own. <laughs> but listen, it was it was my honor and pleasure to sit and participate. But right now, time for me to get my skate on. Time for me to get a skate on, baby. All right, that's it, baby. <laughs>